Hey everyone, today we are here to discuss the different categories and types of mobile applications, native, hybrid, web and progressive web apps. No wonder mobile apps play an integral role in simplifying our daily lives. The marketplace is fully loaded with brilliant apps from watching movies, reading the news, listening to music, playing games, searching for information or shopping for groceries. In a world where different applications are being developed for different purposes every day, the need for a thorough understanding of application dynamics has become a much needed necessity to succeed in the world of apps. While there are many different types of apps in the market, we will focus on understanding native, hybrid, web and progressive web apps. Let's deep dive in. First, native apps. Native apps are developed specifically for mobile devices, smartphones, tablets, etc. Users usually access these apps through online stores or marketplaces such as the App Store or Android apps on Google Play. WhatsApp and Spotify are two of the most popular native applications. Talking about the technologies used, native apps are coded with different programming languages. Some examples are Java, Kotlin, Python, Swift, Object C, C++ and React. The advantages of native apps are First, fast performance through simple code specific to the device and OS. Second, ensure higher user engagement. Third, native apps are more secure. Fourth, native apps are more interactive and intuitive. Fifth, fewer compatibility issues and faster configuration. Sixth, native apps tend to be error free. Seventh, Native apps are often easier to publish and rank higher on the App Store. Disadvantages of native apps are First, building OS-specific apps is time-consuming. Second, OS-specific programming languages like Swift and Java are difficult to learn. Third, longer release cycles to ensure stability. Fourth, need a separate code base for the addition of new features. Fifth, too costly to launch native apps for both iOS and Android. Sixth, before downloading a native app, you must ensure it's available on the App Store or Play Store. Web apps. Web apps or mobile web apps can be accessed via internet browsers. One of the main differences between native and hybrid apps is that native mobile apps can run offline without an active internet connection and online. In contrast, Web apps require an active internet connection to work. Some examples of mobile web apps are the Uber app, the Pinterest app, Amazon.com and Alibaba.com. Talking about the technologies used, web apps are designed using HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, Ruby and other similar programming languages. The advantages of mobile web apps are First, easy access. Second, developing responsive design and restructuring the content to display correctly on smaller screens while making the desktop website mobile friendly. Third, just update in one place and all users will automatically have access to the latest version of the site. Fourth, no installation is required compared to native or hybrid apps. The disadvantages of web apps are, web apps don't work when you are offline. Second, mobile websites don't provide access to the file system and local resources aren't available on websites. Third, the user does not have an app icon on the home screen as a constant reminder. Fourth, while native and hybrid apps appear on the App Store and Google Play, web apps don't. Fifth, web-based applications have their own associated security risks. Hybrid apps. Hybrid app is described as a mixture of web app and native app. Hybrid applications are written using HTML, JavaScript and CSS web technologies and run on devices with different operating systems. Hybrid apps are built on a single platform and distributed across various app stores such as the Google Play Store or Apple's App Store similar to native apps. Examples of hybrid apps are LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Yelp. The advantages of hybrid apps are First, developing hybrid apps is easier to build and cheaper than developing native apps. Second, maintenance is easy as not many versions can be maintained. Third, easy to add new features since it uses a single code base. Fourth, can work offline. Fifth, 
reduced time to market because applications can be implemented for multiple operating systems. And the disadvantages are, first, graphics are less used with the operating system than native applications. Second, hybrid apps are slower than native apps. Third, less interactive than native apps. Fourth, apps cannot perform OS specific tasks Progressive web applications. Progressive web applications are website extensions you can save on your computer system or device and use as applications. PWAs use application programming interfaces, APIs, and web browser capabilities to provide native app experiences across devices. The advantages of progressive web apps are first, they use very little data. Apps that occupy almost 10 MB as a native application can be reduced to around 500 KB when developed as PWA. Second, they are updated automatically every time you use them. Third, no installations is required as progressive web apps are simple web pages. Fourth, you can easily share the progressive web app just by sending the URL. Disadvantages of progressive apps are first, there are restrictions on using all hardware and operating system functions. Second, progressive web apps can cause some hardware integration issues. Third, basic re-engagement features are limited to Android, example, B, add to the home screen notification, etc. Native, hybrid and PWA apps have their own advantages and disadvantages depending on the company's needs. You would like to choose what kind of application you want to build. That's all for today's video. Do like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can always stay connected and you don't miss out anything interesting from us at Forcebolt.